Hello, everyone. So today we're going to be going over rebuilding momentum, um, something that we've been discussed um, on the group chat is something when someone goes away on holiday and how to rebuild their momentum once they once had after their time and break away from, um, from training. So we're going to go over how to go over rebuilding momentum. So number one is making sure we take one step at a time. So a lot of people will get overwhelmed with how much capacity they will have to do and what they were training at and what rate they were training at. Sometimes the whole schedule can become overwhelming and it often leads to frustration and having too much on one plate and to not be able to regather the composure and the intensity that they once were at. So what I would like you to concentrate at, if you are in a similar position, if you're having a break, a break away from training for, or you're going on holiday or you're coming back and you feel like it's a bit overwhelming in this situation and you're not going to be at the level that you once were at. Well, that's correct. You're not going to be at the level you once were at after your time and break away. So what we're going to aim to do is to concentrate on rebuilding habits at one at a time and not think about um, getting all the habits regathered in one day. We're going to concentrate on regathering them all in one week. So first of all, I think on a reasonable goal to have on your first day back from some prolong a prolonged period off is to reestablish your nutrition. Don't think about the training don't think about the steps don't think about anything else except for re establishing good nutrition and this will actually will, will often make sure that you are not becoming overwhelmed in the situation and you will feel much more composed if you go one habit at a time rather than thinking all in one plate and going all at once um, another thing that I'd recommend after a prolonged period off, either from a holiday or a time away, is making sure that you are pulling back on the sessions, um, going away from that RP8 and pulling back to our RP6 or 7. This is going to make sure we don't avoid any excessive DOMS, so big delayed onset muscle soreness, um, which is basically soreness from the sessions. So if we pull back on the sessions itself, you'll actually recover better from the sessions and you won't feel too achy and you'll be able to reestablish a better training frequency and a better training routine. So basically go to the sessions more to the gym rather than having one massive session and feeling excessively achy from that session. Another, the last point I want to make about rebuilding momentum. So after your time away, is prioritizing sleep and aiming for eight hours of sleep a night. Often when people come back from this period away, they often get flustered and don't concentrate on the basics. So um, making sure that your job goes back to a um, regular routine and your training goes back to a regular routine and your nutrition steps, et cetera, et cetera, is making sure that we are recovering from the workouts. Often this is like a, a very um, non-concentrated uh, view is not concentrating on the sleep. So making sure you're going to bed early and recovering from the workouts is going to be essential for regathering your momentum. So often people just think about the stresses, so training, jobs, nutrition, um, steps, the things that cause stress to the body rather than actually prioritizing the recovery. So this is what I want to think about in this next upcoming week. Um, if you want any more questions or anything like that, you're more than welcome to drop me a message. But this is this week's topic covered, um, making sure we're rebuilding momentum after time off. If there's anything else you would like to know, please don't hesitate to drop me a message and I'll go over it in more detail. I hope you're well and I look forward to talking to you all and hope you will have uh, a great week and I'll talk to you soon.